So today we're going to make your mixes better by making them worse. You'll understand in a second. See, whenever we mix in headphones, we want those headphones to be as good as possible, right? Well, no, not really. It depends on your definition of good. So we want them to be as bad as possible. Also, no. You want your headphones to be as honest as possible. Now, what does that actually mean? You want your headphones to have a neutral EQ band. See, typical consumer headphones and most mixing headphones are gonna have boosted frequencies. For example, if you're mixing in something with a boosted bass, you honestly have no frame of reference for what bass sounds like in your mix. If you're familiar with studio monitors, this is the same concept. You want those to sound what we call flat. You see, if you have consumer grade speakers that are boosting your bass or making your highs really nice and clean sounding, you don't know what your mix is actually sounding like. There's a bias. So mixing and audiophile headphones are not exempt from this. Most, I would venture to say, nearly 95% of the market are not going to be flat curves. Most typically boost in the high end and then they also have a boost in the mid low end. Now this is where Sonarworks comes in. So what Sonarworks does is it takes the known boosted frequencies in whatever headphone model you're working with and it's gonna cancel out those frequencies. So the first time I listened to some of my music while using this plugin, it humbles you. You thought your mixes were good? No, your headphones have been lying to you this whole time. So why is this good? Well, now, whenever you're mixing inside of your DAW, you know what you're listening to. It may sound worse, but you know what you're listening to, and you can make it better because of it. So then you can go in Sonarworks and you can turn off the setting and you can realize, wow, this sounds amazing. This is because you adjusted your nice sounding headphones to sound terrible, or in other words, honest. Okay, so there is no easy way to show you how to do this, but I'm going to try. So check this out. I have five headphones loaded up at the moment. One of these is mine, the Audio-Technica M30X. That's literally what I'm listening to right now. I have it flattened. If I turn it off, this is what it looks like unflattened. This is the natural curve of the microphone. This is its EQ response. I have some other ones here too. Bayer Dynamic, this is a super common high quality microphone. It's not flat. We have a boost in the high end and we have a boost in the low mid range. Audio Technica M50X, basically the upgrade of my headphones. There you go. We can actually compare what they look like here. Sony MDR 756, AKG 240. Everything that you know is a lie. I have roughly, and I emphasize roughly, match the EQ bands of all the headphones that I had mentioned previously when we looked at Sonarworks. Oh, and I also put Beats Pro in for fun. We're gonna listen to a sample of audio that I made a while ago. If you don't like synth stuff, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to turn on all these different EQ bands so you can get a rough approximation of how these headphones boost a flat signal. We're gonna start with the M30s and then we're gonna go through all of these EQ bands on their own. Keep in mind whenever you're listening to this that you're going to probably be listening through devices that have their own EQ bias. So whenever you're listening to what is presumably a flat signal, you're probably not. So if you happen to have flat speakers, that is the best way to listen to this experiment. Okay, we're gonna get started and I apologize in advance if there is a volume jump, just be prepared. Flat, M30s, all right, Bayer dynamic time. Okay, M50s. Sennheiser HD380.
Sony MDR. AKG K240. Beats Pro. Right, so that's a rough approximation of what the EQ bands on each one of these headphones look like. Hopefully from this you can kind of decide if you're looking for headphones which one of these sounded the best. It could give you an idea of what you prefer before you ever listen to them.